excited to get to know all of you a bit better after this talk. i um, just going to spend about 10 minutes or so telling you a bit about us at the bakery and um, specifically a problem that we see in the world. We've been speaking a lot about the language of problems today and many of you had some amazing ideas about how you can solve specific problems that you've identified in your own lives for the apps and can't wait to invest. My title makes it sound like I have a lot of money. It's not mine, but um, maybe some investments down the line, absolutely. So um, just to introduce you to a, a definition that we use in the world of technology, and that is problem, solution, and use case. Without a problem, you don't really have a business. Most businesses start in order to fix a problem that exists. That's a solution. Without a use case or a user, a customer, you don't really have a business. So I want to bring to light today a problem that we think we have an ability to solve uh, that applies to everyone in this room, hopefully. So the problem is that there are not enough black female-led businesses getting investment. We all know that to be true. Um, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of black women starting companies. In fact, in the past 20 years, there's been a 265% increase in the number of black women starting companies. Women alone are starting businesses at the rate of two times their male counterparts. But the problem is that VCs, venture capitalists, are not investing in these businesses. So there's a funding gap. And we want to try and redress that balance. Can I get a show of hands? Does anyone have an idea of how many of the VC investment goes to black women as a percentage of the whole? Any ideas? 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5? Yeah. 2%. 2%. Yes, yeah, so you've been doing your homework. It's shockingly low. It is. Um, not 0%, I don't know why that's come up, but it's not far off, it's really not far off that. So, um, as a percentage of the whole, 2.7% of VC funding goes to a woman, 092 to black women. So, this is a problem. It's a problem that even when women do manage to secure investment in the very rare circumstances that they do, they receive about a third of their male counterparts. So there was a study by First Round Capital which showed that $300,000 was the average amount a, a female would secure at a funding uh, round and a male 1.3 million, so that's three times the amount. Mm. And all this despite the fact that female-led businesses outperform all male businesses by 63%. So it is a problem, and it's a problem that when you go and pitch your business to a venture capital firm, you see a row of predominantly white men, yeah. and there isn't that access point. So it's a problem that men <laughs> are getting all of the money. So a solution. We've identified that there's a problem in the system. How do we address this lack of investment opportunity well? We start from the ground up and build companies differently, we can ignore the venture capital route, or at least we don't be so reliant on it. How do we do that? Well, you'll be pleased to hear I'm not the first person to start thinking about this. Um, there are some amazing people out there who are thinking about this solution already. Um, so an amazing company, Black Female Founders, they're based in the US, but they are a global organization. They're membership based. They have uh, access to resources, some funding, um, networks and so on, uh, supporting black female <coughs> businesses. I'm sure many of you recognise this face. Arlen Hamilton, um, infamous for being homeless and then becoming a venture capitalist. So an amazing woman, I have a privilege of knowing her and seeing some of the stuff she's doing. Specifically what this fund that Arlen has created is about is investing in those underserved by the investment world. So black women, any woman, LGBTQ and ethnic minority founders exclusively is her investment fund and it's 36 million at the moment but it's growing and um, there is news that she's doing something in London soon so we can stay tuned for that. Um, and a whole host of other kind of systems or labs and uh, innovation programs are growing. However, it's been pointed out um, that a lot of what is happening is US centric. We um, know that there's a gap in the UK market for access to uh, businesses for black women and ethnic minorities. Many of you might know uh, Deborah O'Kenley from 
yeah. uh, you'll start at your story. So she's actually um, introduced me to Witty Career, so really grateful for what she's doing out there at the moment. Um, so we need to have more options in the UK. So you might have guessed, we, we're here because we think we have one of those options. Um, I work for the bakery, we're a corporate challenge led accelerator which uh, may or may not mean anything right now, but what, what is important for you to know is that we start companies from scratch. So we, and I specifically, have the opportunity to allow a different kind of person to start these companies. The kind of person who might not previously have thought they had the capability of doing that successfully in the world of tech. Maybe you felt ignored by the opportunities, that they weren't equal access, and so on. And it's my mission to make sure as many female and ethnic minorities apply for this program as possible. So how does it work? Well, before I go into the detail, I'll just give you a background on us. Um, we've been around for five years. We, we help companies like the ones you can see on the board um, to innovate. We've got a really good list of clients who've wanted to work with entrepreneurs. To be an entrepreneur um, in the UK, you obviously need access to the right funding, resources, and so on. And what we're trying to do is help people with those components. And in reaction to that, after they've built their businesses, we've got these clients who are ready to work with them. Many clients want to work with um, early stage founders, entrepreneurs, and we've helped these kinds of clients. So just to reel off some names, if you can't see at the back, Google, eBay, Barclays, uh, Virgin, We've helped companies like this to work with entrepreneurs. So you might be sat there thinking, well, I don't have a business. I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm just trying to get into tech. Well, this is where this program actually is, is designed for you. Um, the Bakery Start is our latest offering. As the name suggests, it is about starting companies from scratch. And um, we're on the hunt, I guess, for the, the next generation of entrepreneurs people who back themselves to start a company, people who want to get clients, people who don't necessarily want to pitch to a VC because they can build their businesses through revenue. And the great thing about this program is we have clients ready to pay for your services once you build them. So just a quick um, show how it works. So the best thing I think about Star is that see this line of squares. They're not as beautiful as you women, but they could represent you women. <laughs> So these are the people, uh, and we bring you together into a cohort, so you're not on your own. Um, from that cohort, you find a co-founder, and together with your co-founder, you learn about the client's problems that they have. So the next stage is building a team, prototyping, and sandbox iteration, which is essentially a fancy word for saying test and learn. Quickly fail, quickly try again. Does your product work? Does the client want to use this? If so, We'll, trust, we'll test it. We'll test it with the client. That's what they're there for. They're going to test your product in the market, and if it's what solves their problems, you can form a company and scale. So that's about a six-month process. What good looks like at the end is investment from us. We have a pot of money. Client who wants to work with you, new, new co-founder, and being your own boss. So we're really excited about this. Um, we hope that as many of you in this room will consider yourselves capable of doing something like this. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to say that I meet a lot of women and they often disqualify themselves from entrepreneurship or technology. Um, the rhetoric is often male dominated or difficult, risky, and it is a risk. Um, this is still risky, you're not guaranteed to succeed, but the way that we've built this program is to de-risk it, to make it more accessible. And you will not know until you try. Um, you will not know what you're capable of until you put yourself in that position. And this room, unfortunately, it's not representative of the UK. It's not representative of London. You in this room represent a lot of the black women who are trying to make waves in technology. And if the people in this room aren't applying for this program, then we're in a bit of a trouble. So um, I want to leave you with a clear kind of action point and that is check out the website bakery.com slash start myself um, and two of my team Christy and Michelle are here if you've got any questions and um, we've got some flyers so fingers crossed as many of you as possible will be considering this as an option for your careers. Thank you. Thank you.